Welcome back to our channel. I'm sure you're already familiar with the story of the famous giant Goliath, the feared giant from Gathaphalistia. He's the most well-known giant mentioned in the Bible. But did you know that Goliath had brothers who were also giants? In this video, we'll explore the history and origins of each of Goliath's five giant brothers. So, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share it with your friends, family, and anyone interested in this topic. Let's dive into the fascinating journey of the history and origins of Goliath's five giant brothers together. Let's get started. Goliath is undoubtedly the most famous giant mentioned in the Bible, but there's so much more to learn about his life, family, and where he came from. Many people are unaware of the intriguing facts and curiosities surrounding this monstrous giant. One aspect that often goes unnoticed is the existence of his genetic relatives, his brothers who belong to the same race. For those who are not familiar with the details, Goliath actually had five brothers who belonged to the same race of giants called the Rephaim or Rephate giants. According to the biblical text, after Goliath's death at the hands of King David, his brothers became filled with rage and sought revenge against the king of Israel. Some theorists and experts suggest that one of these giants confronted David in battle. However, as we'll explore later in the video, this giant was defeated by one of David's loyal warriors. The people, represented by the warriors of Israel, urged David to be cautious and avoid engaging in new wars or battles, fearing that other giants would target him without anyone there to help him. The Bible informs us that when the Israelites left Egypt and entered Canaan, they encountered various Canaanite tribes and races of giants. These giants were known for their astounding height, standing around 10 to 15 feet tall, and had an incredible width of about 6.5 feet. One notable example is King Oji of Bashan, who measured approximately 15 feet in height and 6.5 feet in width. His massive body required an entire iron bed to support him. He truly resembled a monstrous figure. Besides the Nephilim and the Antiquians, the Bible also mentions another ancient tribe of giants known as the Rephaim or Rephaim. They were a group of mighty men or giants who inhabited the region of Basin, which is now part of Jordan and Israel. We can find references to them in Deuteronomy, chapter 2, verses 20 to 21 and 3, verse 11. And their kingship is associated with O.G., the king of Basin. Another group of giants mentioned in the Bible is the Anakim or Anakites. They were a formidable and tall tribe that dwelled in Canaan before the Israelites, led by Joshua, conquered the land. In Numbers chapter 13 verse 33, the Hebrew spies reported encountering the sons of Anak, who were described as giants. This discovery instilled fear and doubt among the Israelites, according to the Bible. Many of the giants and their races who managed to survive or escape the conquest led by Joshua and the Israelites did so because they were either killed or severely injured by the Israelites. Most of these giants sought refuge in the lands of Philistia, Mesopotamia, neighboring countries, and even migrated to Africa. In fact, legends about these fearsome giants can be found in almost every region of the world and among different peoples. This suggests that not only the land of Canaan, but also Mesopotamia, Africa, the Americas, Europe, and India were once inhabited by giants. Now, Let's delve into the details of each of Goliath's brothers, who belonged to the same race of giants. The first brother of Goliath was named Lami, and he too was a giant just like Goliath. In 1 Chronicles chapter 20 verse 5, it provides some intriguing information about Lami. And there was war again with the Philistines, and Elhanan the son of Jair struck down Lami, the brother of Goliath the Gittite, the shaft of whose spear was like a weaver's beam. This verse reveals some fascinating details about Lami, Goliath's brother. One interesting point mentioned here is the size and weight of his spear, which is compared to a weaver's beam. This implies that Lami's spear was exceptionally heavy and long, similar to the massive size of a weaver's beam. The giant Lami is believed to have had a stature similar to that of Goliath, or possibly even identical. Some sources suggest that Lami stood at around 10 feet tall, 
or perhaps even ten and a half feet tall. Moving on to the next giant mentioned in the Bible, we encounter Ishbibanob, another one of Goliath's brothers, and a member of the same race of giants. In 2 Samuel chapter 21, verse 16, it is mentioned that Ishbibanob, a son of the Rephaim giants, possessed a spearhead that weighed around 300 shekels of bronze, indicating its tremendous weight. He also wielded an enormous and brand new sword, emphasizing its gigantic size. Some accounts propose that the spearhead alone weighed approximately 13 to 15 pounds, underscoring its significant heft. The text describes Ishbibanob's sword as remarkably sharp and massive, perfectly suited for a giant. This giant, who shared the same lineage as Goliath, attempted to harm and even kill David. However, Abishai, the son of Zeruiah and an ally of David, came to his aid and defeated Ishbibanob, ultimately slaying him. It's worth noting that David personally confronted Ishbibanob in his second battle against another giant. However, David was weary from continuous fighting and required assistance. Abishai, David's nephew, stepped in and triumphed over Ishbibanob, who was also Goliath's brother. Considering the descriptions of Ishbibanob's weapons and assuming his status as a giant, it is plausible that he stood around 9 to 10 feet tall, or potentially even taller. The third brother of Goliath was called Saf, and like Goliath, he was a giant belonging to the Rephaim race. In 2 Samuel chapter 21, verse 18, the biblical text mentions Saf. During another battle against the Philistines, Sibekai the Hushathite defeated Saf, who was also one of the sons of the giant race Rephaim. In terms of Saf's height, it is highly probable that he was of a similar stature to Goliath himself, or perhaps slightly taller or shorter. It is quite likely that Saf stood around six cubits tall, which translates to approximately nine to ten feet in height. Additionally, in 2 Samuel chapter 21 verse 19, the text reports the existence of another giant from the same race as Goliath, hailing from the city of Gath. This giant is also referred to as Goliath, but he is known as Goliath of Gath. The verse states, There was another battle with the Philistines at Gob, and Elhanan son of Jerigaragim the Bethlehemite killed Goliath the Gittite, who had a spear with a shaft like a weaver's rod. Similar to one of Goliath's other brothers, this giant also possessed a spear resembling a weaver's rod, and likely stood at a height of approximately 10 feet. What is particularly intriguing about this giant is that he shares the same name as the Goliath whom King David faced and defeated. However, in this case, he is referred to as Goliath the Gittite, distinguishing him from Goliath of Gath. The Bible reveals that Goliath had four known brothers, but there is also a mention of a fifth brother who stands out as a colossal giant. Although not named directly, we can find information about him in 2 Samuel chapter 21, verse 20. It states, There was also another battle at Gath, where there was a giant, a man of tall stature, who had six toes on each hand and six toes on each foot, making a total of 24 toes. He belonged to the Rephaim. This unnamed giant is described by his awe-inspiring and colossal stature, possibly surpassing even Goliath and his brothers as the greatest among the giants during King David's time. His immense height captured people's attention, along with the unique feature of having six fingers on each hand and foot, totaling 24 fingers altogether. Undoubtedly, he was an impressive giant. If you were unaware of the story about Goliath's giant brothers, who were all of the same race, feel free to leave your comments below. And if you were already familiar with the tale, share your observations in the comments, particularly if you would like us to continue exploring this series on giants. I hope you enjoyed this detailed account of each of these remarkable giants. Until next time.